guys, first off, congratulations on your new film and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Of course, thank you. So what, one, f first off, uh, I wanted to ask you guys about what are some of your biggest real life fears? Because for me, I highly respect heights and the sea. So how about you guys? Uh, let's start with Grace. You know, I, it's funny you brought up the sea because I am not too keen to be underwater uh, without oxygen uh, for a long time. Uh, it freaks me out a little bit. I don't like it. I'm like, uh, uh, so thankfully this wasn't 47 meters down, <laughs> 47 meters up. Um, but still, I mean, heights are, are no joke and, and definitely feeling unsafe is a scary feeling. <laughs> How about you, uh, Virginia? You know, I did not have a fear of heights prior to filming this movie, but afterwards I did develop a little bit of a fear of heights. I mean, it's not green screen, it's real life. And it was a hundred feet up in the air. And after, um, after being up there and being dropped from that height safely, but dropped a few times, I mean, it, uh, it, it changed me. I do have a bit of a fear of heights now. Yeah, that, that this movie didn't do like good things for, for my fear of heights. Uh, so it, it was really good. So uh, before joining, I was going to ask you that also uh, before joining the film, did you guys have any type of climbing experience and, and what type of preparations did you guys uh, do for the film? Was it challenging? Let's start with uh, Virginia. Yeah, you know, um, I had some bouldering experience, but that was all in a gym, not that tie up with pads underneath you. It's quite different when you're actually out there for real. Um, but we worked with some trainers just to make sure we physically were going to be able to handle what was going to be asked of us on the movie. And um, my trainer actually had me work out outside in the sun with a sweatshirt and sweatpants on so I could, you know, adjust to what it was going to be like to be working out in under extreme conditions. So it, it was pretty, you know, it was very physically intensive, the film. Nice. How about you, uh, Grace? Yeah, I mean, we we were in quarantine when we booked this job. Uh, okay. So I was not going to the gym every day. I was sitting on a couch. And uh, so we had a trainer coming uh, right before quite a bit uh, early in the morning, kicking our butts. And I I remember being like, I feel like I'm getting abs really fast. <laughs> this is really <laughs> Um, but I'm so thankful that we did that because when we were on set, it definitely helped. I mean, the long hours of climbing and the stamina required to do all the stunts. I can't imagine if we hadn't had any like breaking of the ice with quarantine, you know? Yeah. Well, while I was watching the film, I kept ask asking myself, how did you guys shoot? I know Virginia touched a little bit of this. How did you shoot this? Did you guys shoot everything indoors on set? Did you guys shoot some stuff on location outdoors? And how do you think the method of shooting impact each of your performances, uh, Virginia? Um, no, nothing was shot indoors. It was it was all um, outside on a mountaintop, practically done. It was not it was not in an air conditioned studio. We were really working with the elements, but it truly did make our jobs as actors significantly easier because we were dealing with a hundred degree heat and windstorms and thunderstorms and insect infestations like all of these crazy elements that really as an actor um you know made us feel like we were terrified and in all the edge of our seats while filming it and i think it translates um and it makes the film feel real and gritty and terrifying uh how about you grace well what Ginny said it's like the the texture right the visual texture of it you can just tell i mean our faces were being hit with such fast winds every single day. I mean, the, what that does to your face alone, <laughs> you just get so tired from it. Um, and, and the sun and the heat and sweating. I mean, we're yeah, the sweating, the, the, the biggest sweating. enemy, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was real. Um, and, and also when we first climbed up the tower with Scott, our director, um, I mean, I teared up just looking at the view, not because of the heights, but literally looking at the view and going, wow, you know, all the way around, we have an incredible view of the desert. There's no wall. We're not in a sound stage. There's no fan <laughs> to our detriment. But I mean, we're gonna really feel what this what this would be like. Definitely, it shows on screen. Uh, besides the whole surviving aspect of the story, I also like that the film also explores some themes like friendship, love, being tough, being clever, working as a team. But my favorite through line was the whole you need to learn how to let go 
but also don't let go for dear life, which was funny. What yeah, things did you guys? Funny. What things did you guys enjoy exploring uh, in, in this story? Uh, let's start with Grace. I think what was really interesting for me was exploring Becky's anger, because um, she uh, she is so sad um, and has such a traumatic uh, incident happen to her. Um, so we mostly see her sad, but then when we kind of have some secrets revealed and, and some other stuff going on, she gets to actually like feel angry. Um, so we do see her move through stages of grief. Um, and I, I think it was fun to kind of not just be stuck in sadness the whole time, but feel that kind of strength of, of, um, her, all of her emotions. I mean, my goodness, Becky is feeling everything, <laughs> as much as you can <laughs> how about you how about you virginia i think for me i really enjoyed exploring um you know hunter is is a like youtube persona and she's got this danger d character that she's created and it was very fun to have an arc with the character where I walked a fine line as an actor of not making her too big and over the top where you just didn't like her. So she needed to still remain likable. Um, but also, you know, it's a bit of a commentary on social media and um, and these kind of like personas that go into that world these days. And, um, you know, I my character goes through a transition where she um, is living in this persona, not being herself. And then when it's just the two of them on this tower and her fans don't really care and, and, you know, and she can't keep up this persona anymore. And she has to be honest with herself and honest with her friend and drop it and just just be real for the first time in a very long time. Mm -hmm. I think you guys did a great job on that. Uh, before wrapping up, as you can say, as you can see, I'm a big uh, superhero comics, uh, you know, uh, fantasy fan. So I got to ask you, Grace, we're all looking forward to seeing you in Chazam Fury of the Gods as Mary Marvel. I know you can't talk details, but how excited are you for fans to see you soon in that film? I mean, <laughs> I can't help but smile. I'm really excited. Uh, it was really special to get to be Mary in her human form and her superhero form and get to be responsible for that continuity um and I really love Mary and I love her character and I've I've wanted to play her superhero form for a while so it's really really special and I'm just so giddy for everyone to see it because it's really <laughs> fun it's great that's, it's bonkers, but it's really fun nice that's awesome we can't wait to see you in that guys again thank you for your time I appreciate it and congratulations on your new film stay safe and saludos from Puerto Rico Thanks.